All right, let's go take a look at our, our two methods, reload data book and reload data file. I made a mistake in telling you guys that it was okay to use the other method. You know, the other method that uses clear. Anyway, something went wrong with that, and it was giving me a lot of problems. It was giving me an array index out of bounds exception and all of that. So, I guess what we have to do is remove the actual row one by one instead of clearing it. So go to your reload data book and reload data file methods and just make sure that it's the same as this and everything should be working correctly. Alright, now let's go back to our open book method. Okay, I created a row column integer, the ISBN. Now remember th the reason why I didn't want my users to uh, be able to rearrange the columns is exactly because of this. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna get the book, the selected book, by the ISBN, which at this point is a string. We're gonna get the string that's in this field. In what field? Zero, in what? In what column? Zero, one, two, the third column. See, if the user was able to rearrange these columns, we're going to have problems. So that's why we disabled that. All right. So that's the ISBN column. I just changed the name from uh, serial number to ISBN. And the way we're going to get the <clears throat> the string value of this cell position is we need a we need a column and a row. What row and what column is it? That's easy, it's easy to find out. So what we're going to do is just assign this integer row to uh, have this value, the selected row, whatever selected row it is. At this point, if the selected row is 0, this is going to return 0. What is the column? We're going to force the column to be ISBN, to be the third one. We're going to force it. <clears throat> And then we're going to get the value of, of, of this table at this column and this row. We're going to pass those two things in and then just call the toString method just to make sure that it returns a string. Now that we have the string ISBN, we created a method in our library, getBookByISBN, which takes in a string with the uh, ISBN in it, the string ISBN, not the not the double or not the integer, not a number, a string. So in our library.java, all we do is search for the uh, for the book basically that has this ISBN. That's all this is doing, and I'm pretty sure you guys understand without me explaining what this is doing. It's just returning returning the book that has the same ISBN and we're getting the book by ISBN because remember we're storing the books in the library such that there is no two books that have the same ISBN so this is a key it's a unique identifier it's an identifier of a book to make sure that a book is unique I don't want to get into databases that's here you guys can look up databases tutorial I'm not doing that I have some other things to do Anyways, let's get this done. I really want to get this done. All right, what do we do next? Okay, that's going to return the book. Now that we have the book, we need to uh, get the vim files out of that. We need to get a string vector. Remember, data file is a string vector. So we need to, in our book class, we need to add a method called toString_vector_file. It's almost exactly the same as uh, the toString vector from uh, the, li the library method to string vector. So if you go there in our book class, here's that method. All it's going to do is return, again, a string vector. What string vector? Well, this string vector. And basically we're just going to partition, remember, we're going to partition, um, remember that our, that a vim is either a sound file, 
uh, image file or a video file. So we're going to have to separate that. We're going to have to separate because we have three columns, remember. We have a sound image video column. Now instead of just putting it all in one column like you know, Vim and have like uh, music.mp3, music2.mp3, png image one dot png all in the same column we're going to separate it in different columns and the way we're going to do that is very simple so if the name of the uh, we're just going to check uh, the the name of our vim file if it ends with wav or mp3 it's a music file therefore we're going to store it in the zeroth column it's a sound because it's a sound well what if it ends with a PNG and a JPEG well it's an image so we're gonna store it in what column we're gonna store it in the image column the first column else it's gotta be a video file so we're gonna store it in the video column that's all this is doing and it's gonna return that that vector uh, this thing all right, that's all it's going to do is going to return that. All right. Okay. Next, let's go back to our library system. And I know I'm going too fast here, but it's because I really have somewhere to go. Uh, I do apologize. Now that we have our data file refreshed, this data file is now equal to this, to this uh, string vector. We're going to reload the data file, which again is here. Again, we're going to remove all the rows, all the existing rows. Whoops. I just got an exception here. Oh, God. Uh. And forgive me, guys, if this method gives you any exceptions. I really couldn't care. I shouldn't say I really couldn't care less. Yeah, I really couldn't care less. If Anyways, anyways, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place here. And then once we have our data file, we're just going to reload our data file, which again just removes everything from our file uh, file table and just repopulates it with uh, with the given string vector that we have. So let's actually run our application. Let's start a new library. Let's add a book. One, one, one. One and add a add a file to the book. Um, click on that. We click open. There it is. And uh, this is not functional yet. We'll do that in the next in the next video. All right, I found a bug, guys. Uh, when we uh, when we are done adding the book to a library, make sure that make sure that you do this. And anyway, we just go to this method, add vim files and blah 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 blah, and scroll down here and just set this to a new array list. Okay, make sure you do this. This is very important. Again, let's give the application a test run. Start a new library. I like to do this on screen just because. Uh, let's add a file to the book. All right. Open. There we go. Uh, let's add another book. Add file to book. Oh, let's actually add a. Then let's add another uh, a PNG this time. 